Hello. Welcome to CSG, where you can see me standing on vertigo with my beautiful orb in my hands. Now, if you pay attention to the left side of your screens, you will see something called Copenhagen Major Hope and Items. The first Counter-Strike 2 Major is starting in a few days, and with every one of these Majors, we get to basically predict which of the teams that are competing will proceed to the next stage and with what kind of results. That is basically what pickems are, so if I click this... You can see there's all these teams, right? There's Cloud9, Ants, Furia, Heroic, Eternal Fire, Apex, Night Panda, Saw, Pain Gaming, Imperial Esports, The Mongols, Ankle Esports, Ecstatic, Koi, Legacy, and Linvision. And as you can see, we can decide which teams I think are going to go through 3-0, which basically means that they're going to beat three teams and not lose once, which teams are going to lose once or twice, and which teams are going to be eliminated 0-3, to meaning they lose everything. I've actually been watching quite a bit of the RMR myself, so this is going to be a pretty interesting video to make because I actually have seen a lot of the matches. But first of all, I appear to have already found a bug, which I obviously have to complain about because it's CS2. But if I hover over the teams, you see their glowing effect gets cut off because of the box that they're in. You see that? So fucking annoying. Such a dead stupid game. Like, honestly, it's so bad. Like, it's so trash. Anyway, let's start. Um, So I think I'm just gonna throw a bunch of teams in 3 to 1 and 3 to 2 for now because I think that's pretty safe. Uh, I think this one is probably pretty safe as well. Oh, Furia. Then Eternal Fire is a rocky one. I might put that in there. Apex, I think, has been kind of shaky at the RMR. They also got 13 0 by Spirit in the RMR, but then again, it's Spirit, so that doesn't really surprise me. I think Saw, I'm also going to put in here. Saw has been playing out of their minds at the RMR. They really surprised me, actually. I think, in terms of 0 to 3, you know. I don't want to put the two teams in 0-3 to three that I would personally put in there. Mainly because it's just going to look racist. But honestly... Yeah. You could argue that the Mongols might actually not go 0-3. to three Because they had a decent okay-ish run at Katowice this year. In that case, I guess it'll be Legacy that goes here. Or Ecstatic. I haven't really watched Ecstatic at all. So I think I'm gonna put Legacy. And now looking at 3-1 to one and 3-2, to two, I think I'm gonna put Ents in 3-0, to zero, mainly because I trust Glaive. And I really do think that even though they've been playing really well both at Katowice and also at the RMR, I do still think that Glaive has some mind-boggling shit hooked up for the fucking actual, like, Major. So I think that's a pretty safe one. And then who would be the other 3-0? to zero? I think some people would make the argument that Saw might actually go 3-0 to zero because they've been playing out of their fucking minds at the RMR. I personally really want to put Cloud9 in 3-0 to zero because they are probably one of the stronger teams in this selection. But then again, they don't have an upper. Even at the RMR, they looked good, but still rocky. So I think 3-1 to one or 3-2 to two is probably what's gonna be Cloud9's actual results. And then 3-0, to zero, like, it... This is really hard for me because if I don't put Cloud9 in there, it's probably going to be Heroic or Saw because I don't see any of these other teams going up 3-0. to zero. Then again, I don't really know which teams are going to go up against each other and I don't actually know how to check that. If someone could let me know, please do because that would help me out immensely. If I could actually see which teams are going up against which teams, it would be way easier to predict the outcome of these, like, uh, matches. Also, this text is getting kind of cut off up here, but that might just be a... 4x3 thing. So, 3 to 0, I think I'm gonna put... I think I'm gonna put Cloud9. I think even though the Rocky... It, like, there's almost no other team that I can put in here. Unless some team makes a miracle run. I think I'm gonna put Apex in 3 to 1. Eternal Fire is gonna go in here as well. And I guess 9... Actually, 9 Pandas, maybe? Amcol has been pretty good, so I'm gonna put Amcol in there. And then... Uh... I don't know if I want to put Furia. Furia has been very rocky at the RMR. I think they're like barely qualified. Actually, I could be completely wrong about that because I only watched their last match. But these are all like the lower tier teams that I didn't really watch. In this elimination stage, this is going to be a lot more fun doing the pickups for this. I almost feel like I want to replace Furia with... KOY, which I know a lot of people are gonna scream at me for doing that. I don't know. I think I want to leave it at this just to see what the result is gonna be and then move on from there, like evaluate, you know, after the matches happen. I think that's gonna be a good idea to do. Personally, I just have no faith in any of these teams. I just don't see them going anywhere this major. The only reason that I put Amcall in uh, advanced is because they've been playing really, really well at the RMR. Then again, and this is probably me overthinking, but I also feel like what might be the case is that they played well at the RMR. RMR, but since their 
a lower ranked team, there is the possibility that they've already used their best strats at the RMR, and now they're kind of empty-handed in the actual matches where it matters, because that does happen. Also, because from what I've heard, some of these teams mostly just care about actually qualifying for the major to get, like, the sticker money or whatever. Like, some orcs apparently genuinely care more about that than they do about like getting far in the major they came about the financial side of it which the major stickers majorly help in no pun intended i think i'm gonna leave it like this for now maybe change heroic and cloud nine but then again i just don't see heroic going three to zero i really do like watching heroic but they're just a rocky team kickstand's calling is good but i still think he needs some time to get like his team adjusted to his system and nikados also i love watching him as an opera but he's just not consistent enough i don't feel like so i think i'm gonna save it like this i think i think this is good i guess let's see if i get five correct pick and predictions for the opening stage